Hello everybody, Fuse Illusions here, captain of a currently unnamed competitive Call of Duty team. Uh, we don't know what our name is anymore, we don't know if we want to stick with Fuse or whatever, but uh, that's not important. What you were watching is the map Cargo and the game type Domination. Uh, this is obviously a public game, um, and there's a very specific reason I picked this gameplay to commentate, and there's a very specific uh, thing that I want to commentate about. Um, but first, I want to thank those of you who are watching this video uh, that subscribe. Because um, I just recently hit the big milestone, not really the big milestone, but uh, the milestone of 100 subscribers. Uh, to me, it is absolutely nuts to think that 100 of you have subscribed to my channel and like what I put out. Um, I believe it was just like two weeks ago that I made a second channel that I was intending to completely switch over to because I don't like the name of this channel. But obviously, I'm not going to do that now. Um, I might figure something out that I want to do with that channel, but I want to just thank you guys for uh, subscribing because that's this is awesome. Um, huge milestone for me. Uh, YouTube has never really been a primary uh, focus. Uh, becoming professional is always uh, a professional player, uh, competitive Call of Duty player. That's the goal, and that that's still going to remain as the number one goal. But now that I have 100 subscribers, YouTube is now going to become a little bit more of a priority um, than it once was. But, um, yeah, so thanks for that. Uh, I hope you guys continue to enjoy what I put out, and I hope you guys can subscribe if you haven't already, like my videos, do all that fun stuff, follow me on Twitter. But, um, yeah, back on topic. Uh, I recently, um, upgraded my internet, and, uh, that, that led me to want to make this gameplay, because this was before I upgraded my internet. Um, so today's topic of this, uh, random public game is going to be overcoming connection issues um, and those of you that are my teammates that are watching this you, you understand what I go through on it what I went through on a daily basis with my internet but um yeah so let me give you some background information ever since Black Ops 1 uh, glory days um, I've had really shitty internet and uh, it, it's like an off and on thing um, some days it's good uh, but it's really inconsistent, so oftentimes it's bad. Uh, in W3, you couldn't really notice uh, my bad connection um, because of the lag compensation in that game being really, really nice. So I'm I'm a heavy supporter of lag compensation, obviously. Uh, to get killed knowing um, because of lag or no bullet registration or shit like that. Uh, part of my language. Um, yeah, so those of you who don't think connection is a big issue, you are stupid and yeah, you're really, really, really stupid. Um, over uh, the time period I had bad connection, um, I've put up lots of terrible scores and uh, yeah, I've been, I've been called bad before and stuff like that um, because of my connection. I, I'm a firm believer that some of my bad scores that I've put up have been solely because of internet. Um, because when I do do tend to four bar, three bar, have a good solid connection, um, I tend to put up very, or not very good scores, but good enough scores and uh, consistent scores. Right now, you can see. Actually, I don't know if it's going to the, the audio is going to be synced up enough with the video. But uh, what I was just watching on screen was me running in place. Um, I would go through stuff like that. Uh, really, really. Well, actually, it wasn't really often, but um, in the past few weeks, my internet really went down to people. And uh, it, my ping was really high, and my download speed and upload speed were absolutely terrible. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I want to give you tips on how to overcome this. Uh, I recently upgraded my internet, and it's absolutely awesome. I love it, it's really consistent. And uh, I can actually put up good scores consistently. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. I can now host games. It, it's just, it's, it's really awesome. But um, it's not over yet. So yeah, I want to give you tips on how to overcome your connection issues. First tip, first tip, and possibly the biggest tip I can give you: upgrade your internet. Um, and that is that is probably the hardest. That that is the mo that is the biggest tip I can give you. But it's also the hardest thing to do is to upgrade your internet because I understand that most of you that are probably watching this video are minors. They're not living on your own, so your parents are paying for your internet. Um, so if you have bad connection, um, typically, typically a good a good connection for gaming would be a five download speed 
and a one upload speed. That is what uh, most internet providers would say is uh, consistent speed, a good enough speed. And you want your ping to be between the areas of 10 and 30. You really don't want it to be above 30. If it's going to be above 30, you need to have really good download and upload speed. Never want it to be above 50. Um, but yeah, those are the kind of internet speeds you want to shoot for for online games, uh, namely FPSs. Um, like Call of Duty. But, um, so yeah, the first tip I can give you is upgrade your internet. Take that uh, step, upgrade it. You want the, the five download, one upload, and uh, um, never get satellite internet. That's what I had to go through. I live out in the country, sort of. I live in Indiana, and I live one mile outside the city limits. So they don't provide cable internet here or DSL. Or they provide T1, which is fucking... It provided my language again. This is absolutely ridiculously expensive. That's two hundred sixty-nine dollars. Never am, go am I going to pay for internet uh, such as that. But um, yeah, uh, upgrade your internet. Wireless internet. There's a difference. Surprisingly, there's a difference between wireless and satellite. Um, satellite internet has a full one-second response time just to get from the satellite up in space down to an internet tower, then transmitted to your house. So over that 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 time. Uh, space. There's probably a, a two-second um, time gap there, which causes lag and non-bolt registration. It causes you to lose lots of gunfights. Um, so yeah, if you can get cable, get it because cable is awesome. Uh, it's more consistent. You won't have those issues. Um, but wireless internet is like what your cell phone goes off of. It's actually really consistent, and uh, most people. Uh, would agree that wireless internet is going to be the next form of internet in general. So if you get a decent wireless uh, internet provider, go with that because it's actually going to be uh, probably more technologically advanced and uh, it's possibly the future. Um, yeah. Second tip, if you're a competitive gamer, uh, get supportive teammates. I've been lucky enough to stick around with at least two of my teammates I started off with. And uh, while they always haven't been the most supportive with my internet, and uh, I've been dropped a couple times in that time period, I've been doing that. I mainly blame on my internet, but they uh, they didn't do that at the time. Uh, get supportive teammates, because that, that means everything. Um, thirdly, pick and choose your gunfights uh, if you were playing FPSs. Um, you are probably going to be restricted to being a public gamer, which is still, you can still put up really good scores uh, with a somewhat bad connection in the public game, as you see I'm doing right here. I go 61 and 1. Um, you just gotta play smart. You have to avoid really big uh, area, traffic areas, and uh, you have to pick and choose your gunfights. Sometimes you have to run suppressors and such. But try to shoot your uh, enemy or opponent in the back, in the side, and such stuff such as that. But um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I now have a Twitch TV channel that I can stream on because of my upgraded internet. I encourage you to go check that out, twitch.tv forward slash fuse underscore illusions. Um, follow me on Twitter, follow my team on Twitter. All the stuff will be in the description or in some kind of random, random annotation. And again, I really thank you guys for 100 subscribers. It's awesome. Please continue to subscribe and please continue to like my videos. And that is all I have for you. And I hope you have a very good night slash day.